checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Best thing I saw all week. Let's take a close look at the Outrunners. Mm -hmm. And a masterpiece was unleashed upon the world. And by the way, this was on the internet long before it was actually on TV. And good! I'm, I'm, yeah, that is exactly. good. Exactly. exactly. Take something good on the internet, put it on TV, damn it! Well, that too. That too. 100%. That's, a, that's 100%. one way to look at it. I do wish that I had seen it live on TV the first time I saw it. But it's the Outrunners doing a 1980s pro wrestling tag team workout video like the fabulous ones or the, the uh who's that team there's right this here for the boy and they're riding horses and playing in the pool together it's about a dozen different teams <laughs> yeah, dude yeah. but they're working Strike out force they're working out and they're flexing they say what they want they do what they want they're coming for you they're coming for your gold and they're sticking their tongue out and shaking their heads and flexing and they're the youngest men alive and the whole thing has expertly well done video effects to look like it's taken directly from a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a, copy of a VHS tape. It might have been. <laughs> As Rip probably filmed it. <laughs> it's just absolute perfection. And the one thing that I'm sad was on, on online and not on this show was, uh, I forget which one of them, but one of the Outrunners retweeted it and said, the video looks this poor because of the quality of the technology they had when we made it. Because the video is actually 20 years old. Yes. 40 years old, I should say. Love this with all my heart. So, Action and Dreddy is pissed at his friends. They've all lost matches. He's the only one who cares. They're just happy they got some good food. He turned heel on food. <laughs> he turned heel on food. Yeah, God. He, there, there's the <laughs> truck. Serious. The truck's out there with the House of Black. He chucks their food at the House of Black, says they should be getting W's, and he storms off. The Bang Bang Gang versus the Cage of Ag Agony. Just a TV match. They did build to a juice hot tag. And everyone's going crazy for juice. Especially when they do like a double down in the ring to set up the hot tag. And Juice reaches over and he grabs that top rope, the, the tag rope. And he stretches that arm into the ring and reaches for the tag. And his eyes bug out and he just screams, Colton! <laughs> And Colton drives over and makes the hot tag. Everyone's going crazy. And they get his big punch and the 310 to Yuma and Pulp Friction and the Bang Bang Gang wins. And maybe they'll challenge the back Blackpool Combat Club or what's left of them. But nobody ever brought that up. It's just a bunch of matches that happen. Lexi is trying to interview Serena backstage. Serena's throwing a tantrum after she lost. And Queen Mano I did find it odd they pinned Cage. Honestly, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I noticed. It's like, why did they pin Brian Cage, of all people? Like, he just re-signed a few months ago, if I recall correctly. And uh, every now and then they try and do something with him, but, mm -hmm. I mean, that's just weird. So, yeah, Serena's angry and Queen Aminata says, That's how it's done? I liked it. <laughs> to mock her. Yeah. And then we get Queen Aminata versus Robin Renegade. As usual... Queen Aminata appears to be killing her opponent with everything she does. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but Robin grabs her for a DDT, and DDTs are right onto her head. Nigel is horrified. It looked yeah. like a work. He's taking deep yeah, breaths. Fine. So Queen makes her come back, hits something called the brain drain, whatever the hell that is. It's headbutt. All right, then. Yeah, she pinned her with a headbutt. Pins her. Yes. And she's celebrating her win when Serena chop blocks her. Attacks the knee, locks in a half grab. So they go Serena Deeb versus. Yeah, I Queen like Mata. this stuff. Simple, it made was, sense, show yes. long storyline. And I know, right now, <laughs> I know right now that Serena Deeb is the heel. Yes. <laughs> Until she comes out and gives her banner to uh, a fan at ringside and maybe, kisses babies, and maybe she'll stop that. I should hope so. The House of Black do a promo. Everyone's calling them out. They say there's seven people calling out the three of us. Sounds like a fair fight. What great heels. He goes, no, they said uh, it's seven of you and three of us. And then uh, uh, Malachi says, I'd say it's about 50-50. And then Brody says, 80-20. And they turn and leave. I guess we're going to face all seven guys. Apparently. Why not? Yeah. Because they're courageous, 
fearless heels. And they have Brody King. Well, I mean, they do have Brody King. This, this, this Let is me talk about order. this main event here. Thought it was great. It was a it was a very professional, excellent tag team wrestling match. Sure. Now I'm not a fan of of like confiscating signs unless it says like, you know, fuck you or something like that on national television. Yeah. But man, someone had a my wife hates FTR sign. I saw They're it. like four rows back. They had it up all night long, mm-hmm. all night long. My wife hates FTR. Ah, what the hell? I used to have wives say they hated my voice, so they deserved it. But anyway, yeah. they had a really good match, and uh, FTR wins with the sharpshooter, and the grizzled young vets, they start beating them up afterwards. And suddenly, I, I couldn't even believe They hit some music, and yeah. I was like, who the fuck's music is this? And the fans, like, they just, they went nuts. They erupted. And I was like, who the fuck is coming out now? And it's the goddamn Outrunners. <laughs> and remember earlier I was talking about how I just have no faith in anything? Mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't believe the Outrunners came out. I was like, dude, they got a push last week. They're coming out again? And sure as shit, they came out again in a main event segment. And they ran down to the ring, and they helped clear the ring. And then they they offered a handshake, but then they go like this. They want the... Yeah. You son of a bitch, they say. They want to do the uh, they, they Dylan, the, yeah, yeah. the, the Schwarzenegger, uh, Carl Weather spot. From yes. Predator. Yes. And so, of course, FTR tease is leaving. But then they came back and they give him the hand. And the fucking place went nuts. You must. Yeah. Tony, are you listening? <laughs> you must follow up on this. As a fan, I have no faith. Please prove me wrong. I expect them to get a big match next week and get beat, and then we'll see them every now and then doing comedy. Come on, dude. They're fucking over. Like, it doesn't matter. And they're good. Who the fuck are the tag team champions? We couldn't even figure out the trios to champions It's the Young Bucks earlier. who never defend them. Fuck, have them beat the Young Bucks. What the what? fuck difference does it make? Why the Young not? Bucks are not going to sell shoes anymore afterwards? They're not gonna, you know, you gonna the, the ratings. Nothing. It doesn't. You got your TV deal. Belt up these fucking outrunners. Do something for the people. Make us believe that here, people here. are gonna get elevated again. And do it with these guys. God damn. When this was over, I was like, fuck. Like when this segment was over, I was like, fuck. That was a great collision. I was all <laughs> on a high. And I kind of thought about it. I was like, actually, this show was just like. It was just a normal show. It was there. It wasn't even really that great. But, man, the ending was so good, and we saw something new and fun, and, like, the people were going nuts. I was like, God damn. This is the chance. Belt up them outrunners. And if you, did, if you didn't see this and you're listening to us right now, go and watch. You have to from, go see this. From the, from the run-in to the end, when FTR is flexing, and the outrunners are selling them flexing by literally taking bumps. It's fantastic. See, the it's thing so is so good and so fun. I know that people will argue, well, it's it's ironic. You know, the fans they're ironically cheering for these guys. It's fun. It's just, you know, it's it's like just whatever. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit why they're going nuts? Whether it's ironic or not, who fucking cares? Do it. If, if if you see a reaction and you think it's not real or it wouldn't work or whatever, bro, it's working right fucking now. So, like, go with it. And if the people that think it's not really over are proven right, then you fucking beat them. Then. Don't presume it's not going to work. Because right now it is working. These guys are over. The people are into this. Partially because the Outrunners gimmick is great, and they do a great job. They are committed to it. But also yeah. because we're actually seeing, like, guys moving up in the ranks that we've been waiting for. So anyway, I like it. And the match was excellent. Yeah. Yep. There was, great match. There was stuff in the show that made it great more, more athletic, more spectacular, but I think it was my, that was my favorite match on either show. And you know, this FTR, 
I know we got heat or whatever. Why? But they're uh, they're great. And yeah. uh, there was a there was a spot, and maybe nobody noticed it but me. Maybe Dax didn't even notice. But Dax did a sunset flip, and in doing the move, he got both the guy's arms hooked with his legs. And then the ref counts one, and the ref counts two, and then the guy like had to fucking kick out hard. Yeah. Because Dax didn't push him to give him the backward roll. I, I hate that. Like. Everybody does it. It's like sunset flip, one, two, push the guy so he can backward roll out. Why would you ever do that? It's stupid. You should hold on to that fucking guy and make him kick out. It's a real old school thing. But man, Dax tried to pin that guy, and that guy had to get out. So I liked it. And the whole match was just great tag team wrestling. Two thumbs up. Yes, solid endorsement for that. Six, six thumbs up, I would say, for this show. Yeah. Well, there you go then. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.